this right here is the free zone CPU cooler from Cool IT Systems. Um, it's a water cooler for AMD processors and Intel processors. I'm gonna show you guys how to install this later on this week. I'll probably release the um, review. As you can see, there's these are the tubes. This is what goes connected uh, to the CPU. This is the fan unit. That's the water pump. <clears throat> I'll basically be showing you guys how to install it. Also, this week, you guys should be seeing the review for the Toshiba satellite P105 S9722. And we will also be reviewing. The cool systems, beverage cool. You guys can see it right there. My cup is on it. I'll just remove my cup. Those three items will be reviewed this coming week, along with a few other things. So stay tuned. This right here is the Free Zone CPU cooler from Total IT Systems. It's a water cooling system for processors. Um, I will. I will be showing you guys how to install this. As you can see, this is a pretty decent sized piece of equipment. Um, this right here is where the this right here goes connected to the CPU. This goes to attach to the back of your case. This is the water pump, and basically that's it. I'll, I'll try to do a good review on this and show you guys how to install one for yourselves. Now it's time to start the installation process of the, for the um, free zone CPU cooler. Um, as you can see the case is already wired so the best way to start is to remove all the cabling. That means disconnecting the drives unplugging the power supply from the motherboard and from the looks of it we will also have to remove the video cards this um... this water cooling system also requires that we remove this fan because this is where the um... pump this is where the pump of the, for the unit goes attached I'll Move the cables to the side and remove the cards now. I'll pause the camera until then. Now that we've moved the cables out of the way, we should uh before before we move the the CPU fan, we should determine where exactly the the pump for the water cooling unit is going to go. It'll it'll go approximately right here. And as you can see, that's going to be a tight fit with this graphics card here. So what we're going to do is remove that graphics card because we don't want to damage it when we're installing the water cooling unit. We're also going to remove this fan and the, this USB port. I'm going to do that now and pause the video. Now as you can see, the first video card that was right here is gone. The back case fan is gone. And also the CPU fan is gone. If you can if you look closely at the CPU, I'll zoom in. Let me turn off the light also. Maybe see it a little better if it's not too bright. You see some white gooey stuff, that's actually thermal grease. Before you start installing the water cooling unit, you should use a paper towel to wipe most of the excess away. Once that's once that's wiped up, you can use a 
paper towel or clean cloth as long as it doesn't leave any fabric behind. Once that's gone, you're good. In case you do get some fabric on the CPU or inside the motherboard, you can use some compressed air to blow it out. And one suggestion, every time you open up your case to install a new card or anything else, it's, it's always good to blow any dust out. Dust is bad for your system. You can slow it down. Now I'm going to start installing the water cooling unit. This piece right here, this is what goes on top of the CPU, and this right here will go right about here. Before we can do that though, we have to set up the, the brackets here to support the water cooling unit. Depending on the type of socket you have, you have to use a different type of bracket. Uh, this is a AM, AM2 socket, so we must use these brackets. Depending on the type of um, water cooling system you have, the brackets may look different. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to remove the bracket that's already in here and replace it with this one. I'm going to pause the tape now and change the bracket and turn it back on once I have the bracket in place. As you can see the bracket that normally surrounds the CPU to hold the fan has been removed and replaced with those four pegs. Um, this particular case has a fan space for a 120 millimeter fan and the fan on the CPU cooler is only a 80 millimeter fan. The cooling system comes with this bracket right here that basically overlaps the 120 mill. Well, it doesn't overlap. It basically converts the 120 millimeter fan air bay area to a 80 millimeter one, so that you can attach that. Once I get that screwed in and begin to install the water cooling unit, I'll start record recording again. Um, I want to try to record the entire process of me installing the water cooler unit, so it may get ugly. Just a warning. Also, um, Asus motherboards comes with this little passive cooling fan. They go attached right here. It comes with one. You can buy a second one for over here, but it's really unnecessary. You just place it there, snap it in. That's it. And then you plug the wire into the where the CPU would go plug. The CPU fan would go plugged into. Well, I'm gonna stop stop recording now, and when I'm ready to install the CPU cooler, I'll start recording. Now it's time to install the water cooling unit. It's best to place the unit itself right here on your drive bays. That way you can get the part that goes on top of your um, CPU close enough without actually having to install the unit first. If you install the unit first, since the unit tends to overlap the CPU itself, it will be rather difficult to do. <clears throat> While getting ready to install the unit I realized that it was going to be really difficult to record the entire process so what I'm going to do is tell you what I'm going to do first show you the before then show you the after what I'm going to do now is install this piece how, how I do that is well I simply just place it on the CPU and with the brackets provided or depending on your motherboard you might use these brackets but for this one it's just these brackets I'll secure in secure the 
this piece onto the CPU with these. After I do that, I'll start recording again. As you can see now, I have the part that secures the. As you can see now, the part that covers the CPU is insecurely. Next, what we have to install is the water, the pump, and the fan, which goes right here. It goes just like that. All I have to do is screw it in. Right, let me zoom out for you. Once that's screwed in, it's installed, and all I have to do is the wiring and rewire every wire that I took out not too long ago. Once I screw this in, I'll start recording. As you can see now, the pump and the fan are in place. They're securely in. And I know that, that I said that would be the last thing to do, but I did forget we need to install this module right here. This is basically, this module basically is for um, temperature control and delivering power to the cooling unit. Um, this, this typically should go on your drive bays, but being that my case is rather small and this piece will bulge out, I, will, I won't be able to close my, um, my, my side panel. So um, I'm going to install it on top of my power supply unit, which is at the bottom. And hopefully that will work. Once I get this installed, I'll start recording again. Oh, it goes installed with um, tape. Everything is installed now. The module, the water pump, and deep down in there is the CPU. Everything's installed. All that's left to do is to turn her on. This is my first water cooling unit install in. Let's just pray I did it right. I can't afford a new CPU. Well, it would seem that everything's running A-OK. -okay. The cables are incorrectly. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell there's a little light blinking there. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in, in into the um, tubes. Um, can't really see the water flowing, but it's flowing. Uh, those who don't believe that the case is actually on, it's on. Listen to that hum. Listen to that hum. The case is on. Monitor's on. Oh, by the way, two, two laptops. On. I rock. Anyway, everything seems to be installed correctly. Now it's time to put on the side panel, and we are done, people. Thank you, everybody.